Tonight, Victor Blackwell has exclusive information, some disturbing new evidence, photos and videos that only raise more questions. And we do want to warn you, some of the video you're about to see is graphic, difficult to watch. Here's Victor's report. It's the only video shot inside the Lowndes High School gym the day 17-year-old Kendrick Johnson was found dead. And with his parents' approval, we're showing it for the first time. Lowndes County, Georgia investigators say Kendrick's death was a tragic accident, that he climbed onto these rolled gym mats to reach for this shoe at the center of one mat, slipped, got stuck upside down, and died. County officials say the blood in this photo spilled after Kendrick's heart had stopped pumping hours after he had died. But Kendrick's parents say the photo and the video show something else. There's enough evidence to show that Kendrick was murdered. CNN has exclusively obtained the 15-minute video in nearly 700 photos of the scene taken by Lowndes County investigators. And for the first time, Kendrick's parents, Kenneth and Jacqueline Johnson, are ready to look at them, including these pictures of orange and black gym shoes investigators found just yards from Kendrick's body. Did these shoes belong to Kendrick? No. When you look at these shoes that were at the scene, what stands out to you? The blood on the shoe. But investigators say tests show the stains are something other than blood, so the shoes were not collected as potential evidence. I don't understand why. You didn't CNN took the photos to independent private investigator and former FBI special agent Harold Copus. If you were on this scene, would this have been something you would have left? No, bag and tag. There's no indication investigators ever even looked for the owner of the shoes or this hooded sweatshirt found a few feet from Kendrick's body. And if you look real close, there's something on this particular cuff. And then the question is, was it blood? Did you test it? According to the crime lab report, no. They know something happened in that gym and they don't want it to come out. For the Johnsons, there's no stronger indicator than this photo. It's of what appears to be blood dripping down a wall. Here's what Lowndes County Lieutenant Stride Jones told CNN about that wall in May. And we tested it and it was blood. Now we did DNA testing and it was not the blood of Kendrick Johnson. If it wasn't Kendrick blood, who blood was it? Did you ever find out who it was or any involved? Uh, no, as, it a, as of now we haven't, no. But okay. it doesn't appear to be related to our crime in any way. What do you think about the, the, the decision not to test it further? You can't explain it. If you're running the crime scene, then you're going to say that's potential evidence. Obviously, we're going to check this out and find out who does it belong to. This is an athletic gym. I mean, obviously, this is where they conduct uh, various athletic classes and instructions at. A kid couldn't have scraped their knee or arm or something and got that much blood on the wall. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, six impacts. Uh, the opinion of our crime scene personnel, um, after looking at it closely, the blood appeared as it had been there for an extended period of time. It was, didn't appear to be very fresh. School gym, there is no way that uh, they would allow whoever was supposed to clean this gym to leave that blood on that wall. And there's the question, why was there no blood where they expected to see lots of blood? Remember the photo of that shoe investigators say was inches below Kendrick's head? Look at it again. If he was inside the mat, reaching for that shoe, inside this tube, reaching for the shoe, and the shoe is beneath him, why isn't that shoe covered with blood? And what do you think about that shoe not being covered with blood, dude? It was, it was placed there. Hey, Sheriff Ryan. Hi. Victor Blackwell, CNN. Chris Ryan. The Sheriff's Department has denied a cover-up, but we took the Johnson's concerns to Lowndes County Sheriff Chris Prime. I've got some questions about the Kendrick Johnson case. I'm not going to discuss that with you. Why not, sir? Because our case is closed. The family has some concerns about why some things were not taken into evidence. There was blood I'm on the not wall. I'm discuss the case with you. And wh why is that? Because I don't want to. Then, less than a minute after he'd invited us in... What filed. did you not understand that I said? I'm through talking to him. He ushered us out. Thank you, Sheriff Bryant. I don't believe this was an accident. I think this young man met with foul play. The Justice Department is reviewing the pictures and the video to decide if it'll launch a federal investigation into Kendrick's death. But for Kendrick's father, the evidence is clear. Someone murdered him. They should be in jail. They are covering up 
they should be in jail. Victor Blackwell joins us now. So the former FBI agent says that the crime scene was contaminated. How so? Well, Harold Copa says that it's crime scene 101, that when you're on a scene investigating, you wear the shoe protectors. Those are the, uh, the blue booties you see on the uh, crime shows on television. Well, look at these pictures. You can see here that these investigators are not wearing the shoe protectors, and it's not so much to protect the scene, uh, rather to protect your shoes, but it's to protect the scene from anything you could track in. And Copa says because they're not wearing those protectors, this scene was obviously contaminated. And, and clearly, you tried to talk to the sheriff there. They clearly didn't want to talk. Is there anyone tied to the investigation who is willing to talk? Well, we went to speak with the superintendent of Lowndes County Schools, Wes Taylor, and we asked him about the blood on the wall and how long it had been there. Also, I mean, if the theory is true that he slipped into these mats after climbing onto the bleacher to get the shoe, are the mats still there? His answer to most of our questions, we are cooperating with the Georgia Bureau of Investigations. He wouldn't go further than that. You would think someone who works at that school would either be able to say, oh, yeah, I remember when a student, you know, bled all over the wall in six different places or or not, um, it'd be interesting to hear if, if they've been talked to. What about the Department of Justice? Where, where are they in the status of their investigation? The U.S. attorney in uh, Macon who covers this district, his name is Michael Moore, and we've spoken with him several times, and each time he says that he is reviewing the information from the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office, and he is uh, going to work to decide if he will open a criminal investigation. Now, just a few weeks ago, we heard from the Civil Rights Division. They've said that they will not open uh, an investigation through their department, but it still could be opened as a criminal investigation. Michael Moore says he could come up with that decision uh, in a week or in a month. He doesn't feel rushed. He wants to make sure that he gets it right.